Boyd and I represent Audulus and what we're showing off here today is a new update for Audulus 3. Everyone who has Audulus 3 already will get this for free. Uh, 200 new modules, we got a few hundred more to add. Uh, there's lots of new clarified signal flow uh, and different ways of uh, uh, combining modules together that are that will be more immediately familiar to someone who is uh, who knows Eurorack. There's also a lot of new presets. This is one of the patches. It's a performance that shows you the potential uh, of combining these modules together. Uh, we got the this sequencer here that's controlling a you know just a small sub synth right here. Uh, and we got these mixers. It, basically, people in the past have uh, they they've thought that Audulus is too complicated. They can't get a good sound out of it, and that's because they've been using these nodes, which are these small little elements uh, that Audulus is made out of, and these things right here. So we come out and look. Here's the sequencer. It's already made for you. You can play around with it, um, and uh, you know it's. It, this update represents an, a, a new era for Audulus in that people will be able to start to write songs, write performances, really bring this into their live set uh, where it's not just like an intellectual uh, you know, uh, thing to have on your iPad where you make some new effect or something. This really is going to be a workhorse uh, of modular synthesis. So uh, along with this update, uh, some, of the, some of the things that we were talking about last night, we did a live feed uh, last night, and we were talking about the potential for Audulus to interact with uh, like Eurorack hardware and, and things of that nature. Can you talk a little bit about, about moving forward with that? Yeah, so uh, for right now, you can send AC signals out. You can just send an LFO out that you create. Uh, and send it to your modular. Uh, if you have a DC coupled interface, then you can also send out uh, gate signals. Uh, and we're also thinking about uh, you know, the future of Audulus as something that you'll be able to design uh, a module and zap it over to some kind of hardware piece that people will be able to integrate with their modular. Uh, because of the way Audulus is written in C++, it makes it really easy to translate uh, into a microcontroller. And so that's something that's it's in the future. You know, we don't have any solid plans for it right now. But you know, we wanted to come here to Knobcon and get people into Audulus, see how exciting it is, uh, see that uh, we've been talking to a lot of makers and having them uh, use it to prototype uh, their... Uh, Talk about using it to prototype future modules because it's very, it's almost like a uh, modular sketch pad. You can get an idea down really quickly uh, and play around with it. And it's like working with uh, electronics on a block diagram level rather than a component level. Uh, so, so that's, you know, we, we want to show people that this isn't just an iPad synth. This isn't just, you know, something that's, that's on your computer that's just a plug in. Like can you this, show some, some interactions with the iPad? Here? Yeah, yeah. So, right here, we've got a little uh, uh, TV visualizer that I made, and we can, uh, we can change the scan level, scan speed. And what, what's really fun to do with this is if you, you plug in, you can take your audio input and plug it into the brightness input, and you'll get these flashing uh, uh, visualizations in time with whatever you're playing. Uh, and then we can pop in and see what it looks like in the inside. Whoops. There we go. Good lord. There you go. Wow. This is all running on an iPad Air. Um, yeah, got a lot going on. Uh, you know, let's pop into another patch. Uh, let's see here. It's got an aleatoric drum machine in here, and you know another range of modules. You can see that this can run on the computer and the iPad as well. It's a uh, very uh, the, the new update that Taylor Holiday, the creator of Audulus, has done is been able to uh, uh, make the the whole program run more efficiently with analog modeling filters. So you got some great sounds uh, coming out. Of now we these can new obviously modules. buy this in the app store. Mm -hmm. Where do we get the uh, the software for the Mac? Uh, the Mac is also in the App Store. There's a Mac App Store. It's called the Mac yeah. Store. Uh, and then for Windows and Linux, you can buy it at Audulus.com. You can also, uh, if you want to just try it out, uh, www.audulus.com. Uh, you know, if you're if you're viewing this and it doesn't seem like these modules are in there yet, it will be soon. It's in beta right now. 
Uh, so make sure you, you know, if, if these modules aren't included in the trial that you check out, download it again later once we have it fully released and you'll be able to play with all this stuff. Only thing about the trial is it's save disabled, uh, but you'll be able to open up and play with all these patches and, and really check it out uh, for yourself and, you know, awesome. see how awesome it is in person. And you can modulate at audio rates, right? Yep. So I, if I want to, I can take the audio out here uh, from the master mixer and I can go to modules, go to translation and go to audio to modulation. That's going to translate this audio signal here to a modulation signal. And I can go directly back on, I don't know, like this thing. And then I can wiggle that around. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So when, when are you guys expecting to have the beta finished? Uh, in the next couple of weeks. I mean, it's, it's out. It's, it's just all about getting the feedback from the users who are in the beta and uh, you know, working out a little bugs here and there. And you know, it's going to be stable soon. And another thing that's coming out with the, the release is a bunch of tutorial videos that I'm doing that are really going to help elucidate how people can dive into Audulous really quickly. They can uh, watch just 30 minutes of, of tutorial videos and then you'll know everything you need to know to really get started using an Audulous. If you're a Eurorack user, you will just need to watch one video that will show you how to navigate and uh, put together these modules like a, a normal Eurorack patch that you'd be used to. Awesome. And it runs on iPhone as well. iPhone as well, yeah. Very cool. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.